a lot of training camo has been telling him no. And when he first, I started working with him, he was flipped out. He'd see people on the street and get all barn sour and crazy. You can't console a frightened dog. That doesn't work. It doesn't. Don't ever console the frightened dog. You're telling it to be frightened. Now he's much more confident. Even as early as like the 22nd of June, he was better. But now he's really doing good. People can come up to me and walk, talk to me on the street. Just sort of, you know, acts like a dog right beside me. Doesn't bark at him, doesn't back away. And if he did, I'd make him get it healed. You know, that's how it is. Now we'll go over across the street and work him at key food because people are coming in and out. There's a lot of visual stimulation. I'll have him do the weave pulls. But he's, he's so much better. He is. When I first met him, he was like ter he was terrified of me. I had to pick him up and hold him and make him get used to me. That's how I was with people on the street. He was terrified. And see, you have no idea. Like like the first week he was here, it was you know he's gotten better over time. He's been here a long time. That's the deal I make. Like I'm gonna try and make the dog better. You know, the dog's the dog's gonna leave better than it than it came in. That's the deal I make with the owners. I try and do my best. It's it was you know this guy just has like such a you know he got screwed. Somebody dumped him out on a road. Anybody that would dump a dog out on a road, god damn it, we don't really know what was going on with Cammy. You know. They're probably screaming at him and treating him like shit the whole time that they had him. Anybody that would do that is a piece of shit. It's a little cammy. Now he's, now he's, he's pretty awesome. Look at him. Look at Cammy. Let's go do the weed pulls, Cammy. He's cute as shit. I had him doing the weed pulls upstate, and it was, uh, it was harder down here. Listen to all this shit. Got the train. asshole like that? You know, that's bullshit. What the fuck is the matter with you, motherfucker? Put a fucking muffler on that damn thing. So we do the weed pulls here. You know, there's a lot of visual stimulation. The door opening and closing. It's a lot better than he was. Here, wait. Here, wait. Here, wait. Here, wait. Here, wait. Good boy. Wait. Here, wait. Here, wave, here, wave, here, good boy. Give a wave, here, wave, here, wave, here, wave, here, wave, here, nice job, buddy. Give a wave, here, 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 wave, Tell you one thing that I've noticed about camo is if he has a tendency to pop out a heel in regards to a human, it's that he wants to sniff them, not that he's terrified. So he's sort of gravitating towards them. That's a better situation, I'll tell you that. He's great. He's awesome. He's he's doing great. He's not the terrified little freak that he was. Now he's just a cute little freak. Aren't you, Cammy? Cammy, sit. He's fucking cute. He is. He's awesome. Look at the face. Look at the face on him. Who could do that to Camo? Right, Camo? This boggles my mind, man. Going up these stairs to the subway, it sort of flipped out camo. It's a common thing because they can see through it. What do you think I did to get him up the stairs? I just made him do it. But then two times, now he goes up him, it's no problem. We're about to put him on the subway. I'll let you go up the stairs now, no problem. I didn't console him, I'll tell you that. Why don't you Cammy go up the stairs now? He ain't no pussy. Come on, Cam.
Never console the frightened dog. Some dog trainers call this flooding the dog. I don't care what you call it, just make the dog do it. Seriously, and don't ever use a consoling tone with the dog. Oh, it'll be all right, or something like that. That'll fuck the dog up for sure. If it's afraid, you know, no. Just, you know, get it healed or give it, give it a command, make it do something. That's it.